Okay, in this video I just wanted to talk about the Remix tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. And essentially what this tool does is you can make music any length to fit your timeline. So if you've ever done video editing, you know, I'm sure you've gone through the process of trying to make music fit to video, whether it's sort of cutting it down or trying to kind of like make it longer by splicing parts of it together. And it can be a real nightmare. So um, this tool sort of lets you uh, very quickly adapt music to fit, fit your timeline. So to use this feature, you're going to need Adobe Premiere 22.2 or above. And in, in this video, I'm just using 24.2.1 for Mac. Um, so this isn't actually a new tool, but it's one that a lot of people don't really seem to know about. So, you know, it's, re it's really useful if um, if you're somebody that's sort of cutting um, audio to video a lot, you'll, you'll find this tool really useful. So first off, to find the tool, all we've got to do is just jump into our menu and where the ripple tool is, all we've got to do is just hold down like a click on it. And then you can see here we've got the remix tool. So in, in this example, basically, I've just got a video where I've already got a timeline and an audio track on it. And what I'm going to do is just sort of, let's say, for example, a, a reason why quite often I end up doing this will be I've cut down, you know, my audio or my video altogether. I'm all happy with it. You send it to the client and then the client kind of says, actually, I'm not really sure about that track. So what I'll then do is come back. Um, I use Artlist for all my music. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get two months free on Artlist. Um, but yeah, basically this is what I use for all my tracks. So what I do is I'll come back in here. Um, for this example, I'll just download this one. So it's another kind of one that more or less fits. It feels kind of like high tempo, so that, that could fit in quite nicely. So if we jump back in, I've already thrown it into the timeline here or into the bin. So we can bring that in, just take that off the old one and then you can see it's kind of it works okay but then we've got this overlap just at the end so what we're going to do where we clicked into the remix tool all we've got to do now just make sure you clicked on it click on your audio clip you want to change and then it's just as simple as just coming to either end of it and you can either make the clip bigger or you can make the clip shorter to fit so i'm going to bring it just to about there and then what you'll see is it just finishes at the right point so it's kind of a nice little fade out there and what you'll find if you zoom in enough to this what you'll kind of see if you if you zoom right in and then you sort of scrub along the track there should be points in this where um, Premiere has kind of stitched together its own um, its own kind of bit so you can see there so that's a point where it's taken the track and it sort of cut it apart and, and faded it back together. So if we go over this bit. And you can kind of see it's done a pretty good job there putting the putting the bits together. So it's uh, the, it, you'll find there'll be more of that if you sort of expand the track. You can kind of see them here. Look, so there's a couple of cuts there. So you know really quickly where to go back and just check and just make sure that there's no kind of weirdness there. And, you know, the reason for that is, you know, it, it is just a tool at the end of the day. It's not perfect. It, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. You know, I've used it quite a few times and never had to make any tweaks on it. It, it is a decent tool. You know, it, it def definitely does the job. But certain types of tracks don't really work as well in it. And, you know, if you're expanding a track a long way, so say it's a very short track and you're making it a very long track, there can be points in it that are not quite right. So, um, yeah, just I always just check in on these cut points and just sort of see what they're like before going any further. But ultimately, it just gives you a really quick way just to resize that audio just to make it fit. So, you know, you can give the client another choice for music or if you want to just really quickly rap music for uh into like social videos if they've got to hit an exact time limit say your audio tracks two minutes and you just want it to hit like a, a 50 second social video it, it can be really useful and then you know you can use the same audio clip across multiple um sort of deliverables of the same video and you've got that consistency of that audio track and then also now if um we've got the essential sound uh tab up here if you don't have it you can just go into uh, the window essential sound and then if you click on your track again what you'll find you've got the um, you've got this in here now so 
you've got the this part where it's done remix stretch and you can actually you can come in and you can customize these bits so you can change the um, you can change the amount of segments that are used you can change the variations so you can actually come in and you can tweak a little bit of kind of what's going on with it so it can be it can be actually quite flexible even though it's it's essentially like a quick automation tool but you know you, you can go in and you can sort of fine tune these things so it's it's a really good tool to use so yeah, for, for anybody that finds it a pain to be chopping up audio files and making them fit into timelines, this is a really good tool for you. So yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. If you have, give the video a like. And if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe.